We all know the routine, making New Year's resolutions only to break them almost instantly. I have done it ever since I was born, but Stephanie Delfonso, who is an integrative hypnotist and intuitive coach, is here with tips on how to keep your resolutions this year. I don't think it's possible. Is it possible? 93% of people fail every year. And I was part of one of those 93% of the people. Well, Why do you think that is? It's because you're not doing these five tips I'm going to share with you. Okay. First, you need to make sure that they're specific mm -hmm. and realistic. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to get mm -hmm. organized. I'm going to quit smoking. Those are all really vague. Like, how are you going to do that? Right. So you have to get specific. And it's got to be realistic. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm going to drop 50 pounds this month. Immediately, next week. Probably not so realistic. <laughs> Right? right? So specific and realistic. Then we want to think of the acronym KISS. -S. Oh. Keep it simple, Keep sweetheart. Simple. Oh, I like that. I know nice. you thought I was going to say something yes, else. Right? I love it. <laughs> you keep it simple because I have people come with a laundry list of 10 of things they want to change. But that's like throwing spaghetti at the wall, hoping something's going to stick. Instead, we want to be like a champion dart player and focus on the bullseye. Mm -hmm. That laundry list, what the one most important thing, mm -hmm. and that's what you focus on. Mm -hmm. Then you have to plan it out. You love to work out, right? Mm -hmm. You plan your workouts, right? Yeah. You don't wait until, oh, the mood strikes me, yeah. right? You plan the days, the times, and maybe even here's a cardio day, here's a weight day. Yeah, you switch it up. Right, so you want to plan it out and you want to chunk it down. Mm -hmm. Take the big goal mm -hmm. and chunk it into smaller achievable I things. I like that. Well, yeah, that's the stepping stone to take us to the ultimate success. I want to save money. Mm -hmm. How much? I want to save $1,000 this year. Yeah. How am I going to do that? I'm going to save $20 a week. At the end of the year, it's $1,040. Mm -hmm. That's achievable, right? Absolutely. And I'm sure you could even make it smaller than that as well if you feel like you can't budget hey, me. Maybe $5 right. or maybe $10. But to take that big one and chunk it down yeah. so then it's realistic. Yes. And then the last piece is probably the most important mm -hmm. accountability and support yes right if you're working on dropping weight and ben and jerry are calling from the freezer in or the friends night. have ben and jerry's with them and they're calling your name if you have accountability and support mm -hmm. and you're going to have to say oh i was into the chunky monkey last night <laughs> you have a better chance of being able to resist that temptation I like that would you say that it's better to kind of develop habits maybe like small habits as you go so exactly. instead of just going for a very lofty goal exactly if you don't work out oh I'm gonna work out five times yeah, a week it's isn't gonna happen, gonna happen. yeah um, I'm gonna work out twice or more this week mm -hmm. that's achievable and then you can build up to it I love that what are some of your New Year's resolutions I don't make them you don't make them. <laughs> what <laughs> you don't make them and why is that I don't make them because doing it in January it's like oh okay everybody that's why it's a 93% fail rate mm -hmm. when you through the year make changes okay oh I need to eat healthier how am I gonna do that I can do that in March mm -hmm. if I wait until January and not so much I like that because we always put a deadline there's yeah. a time stamp on everything and I actually kind of like you know what guys don't make a New Year's resolution but if you do obviously here are the tips <laughs> these are some of the great tips but I think that that's very important to remember that there shouldn't be this time stamp or this urgency we should just start to adapt and make those changes well, when we can look at the fitness industry yeah they uh, make all their money this time of year mm -hmm. right and by the end of the month the Everyone's gym's around again <laughs> yeah yeah good things to remember I'm certainly going to keep them in mind and if people want more information about you and all of the wonderful things that you do where can they go thank you my website stephaniedelfonso.com how do you spell that hopefully it'll be on the website it will be, <laughs> and it'll be on our screen as well and on our website too thank you so much really insightful information and uh, just remember guys keep it simple and be specific about your goals thank you happy new year happy new year